celebrating. We found out today that is not necessarily the case. You know, <laughs> and education is extremely important to me. Sabrina Shane was one of 300 people here for an education rally at Concord. I have three school to, to college level kids. So I'm across the board, and, and I have felt the impact of lack of funding. <clears throat> the stage was full of educators and politicians who have different opinions about the governor's budget announcement. Um, it's very good news. Uh, but you have to understand in the context of the last two years where we saw 20% cut out of K-12. Assemblywoman Susan Bonilla organized today's event. She's the chair of the subcommittee on education finance. She says more than $2 billion of the money will help districts avoid having to take out loans. But Mount Diablo School Board President Gary Everhart says his district will still need a $40 million loan because the state will likely not pass its budget on time and argues the governor's announcement wasn't what it appeared. Is that cost of celebration? Uh, no. I, I mean, I, because I looked at the, at the detail behind that, this claim of $3 billion, and there really isn't an additional $3 billion in the state for education. He explains the state basically gave back money it was going to give districts anyway, next year. The other $222 million is money for mental health services, a new expenditure for school districts since the state decided to stop paying for it. But the state's money won't completely cover costs, digging another hole for districts to fill. Then there's another dilemma. Will this week's so-called good news make people complacent yeah, thinking the crisis is over? Hello, Mama. Hello, Mama. See you, though. That's a problem. I don't want to take the pressure off the where that pressure was. It belongs to the state. It belongs to the legislature and the governor. And the pressure is still on because the governor's budget reviews are yeah, yeah, yeah. really big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But as we speak now, education is still in a precarious position because it relies upon the extension of those tax increases. Exactly. And what are the chances that those will be extended? Yeah, man, uh, I have to be optimistic because I'm a teacher, I'm a, a legislator, I'm a mom. So another big part of today's rally was trying to motivate this crowd to contact Republican lawmakers in Sacramento and get them to support the tax extensions. In Concord, Anna DeRangelo, CBS 5. <laughs>